He is known for being an Italian chemist, writer, and Jewish Holocaust survivor. He is recognized for his notable works, including his account of his time in Auschwitz and his acclaimed science book, The Periodic Table. His name is Primo Levi. In the realm of scientific and literary achievement, one name stands out, Primo Michel Levi. Born in Italy, Levi was not only a chemist but also a partisan, writer, and Jewish Holocaust survivor. His life was marked by both tragedy and triumph, and his contributions to literature and science continue to be celebrated. Levi's most renowned work, If This Is a Man, is a powerful account of his harrowing experiences as a prisoner in the Auschwitz concentration camp during World War II. His ability to bear witness to the atrocities he witnessed and his unwavering determination to tell his story has made this book a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. But it was Levi's book, The Periodic Table, that truly solidified his legacy. This collection of stories and essays, linked to the qualities of the elements, was hailed as the best science book ever written by the Royal Institution. Levi's ability to intertwine his scientific knowledge with his literary prowess showcased his unique talent and intellectual depth. Tragically, Levi's life was cut short in 1987 when he died from injuries sustained in a fall from a third-story apartment landing. While his death was officially ruled a suicide, some have questioned this conclusion. With no suicide note, no witnesses, and the presence of medication that could have affected his blood pressure, it is possible that the fall was accidental. Regardless of the circumstances, Levi's legacy lives on, reminding us of the power of storytelling and the importance of scientific inquiry in understanding the world around us. In the midst of unimaginable horror and suffering, Primo endured the darkest years of his life. Fossili, once a place of refuge, fell into the hands of the Nazis, and the deportation of Jews to death camps began. On that fateful day of February 21, 1944, Primo Levi found himself confined to a cramped cattle truck, bound for Monowitz, a camp within the Auschwitz complex. Alongside other prisoners, he endured the grueling journey, unaware of the fate that awaited him. For eleven long months, Primo struggled to survive in the brutal confines of Monowitz. Upon arrival, the prisoners were sorted, those deemed fit for work were spared, while others met a swift and merciless end. Levi was one of the fortunate few who were chosen to continue living, but the odds were stacked against them. The average life expectancy of a new arrival was a mere three to four months, a constant reminder of the fragility of their existence. Drawing on his knowledge of German, acquired through his study of chemistry publications, Primo adapted quickly to life in the camp. He navigated the treacherous landscape with caution, avoiding the attention of the privileged inmates. Desperate to learn the language and survive, he traded his meager bread rations for German lessons and guidance from a fellow Italian prisoner. And in a stroke of luck, he received smuggled soup from Lorenzo Peroni, an Italian forced laborer, which provided him with nourishment to endure the harsh conditions. Primo's expertise in chemistry proved invaluable when he secured a position as an assistant in the laboratory of I.G. Farben's Buenoerka. By avoiding the backbreaking labor in freezing temperatures, he increased his chances of survival. He resorted to theft, pilfering materials from the laboratory to trade for additional food. However, his fortune took a turn when he fell ill with scarlet fever just before the Red Army liberated the camp. This illness became a saving grace, sparing him from the death march that claimed the lives of countless prisoners. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.